Hi Cancer! Welcome to my channel. This is a special monthly reading session for you guys. This is for the sign of Cancer. I hope you are well. This reading for today, Cancer, is for the month of February 2020. This is applicable for singles, couples in a relationship dating or getting to know, and this is for Cancer friends. Okay? Please, universal energy, what is the message for Cancer friends for the love month of February 2020? What can I get for Cancer February 2020 for their love, romantic, relationship, dating, or getting to know? Please, what is the message? What is the intuitive message, please? Okay. First card is the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles. The High Priestess, the Three of Wands in reverse, you've got here the Page of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Tower card in reverse, you've got the Six of Swords in reverse position. So for some of you Cancer, you might be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, let's go week by week for you, Cancer friends. Um, so first week of first week of Feb 2020, the energy is a two of swords. Sorry, two of I don't know why I said two of swords, but this is a two of pentacles in reverse and eight of pentacles in upright position so for some of you the first week of february 2020 it's a decision to work hard to focus on work queen of wands in reverse reverse you might be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius i don't really feel good about this three cards i feel like you've been neglected by someone okay if you are in a marriage if you are in a relationship i feel like you're so distanced with your partner the first week of Feb 2020 for you, um, Eight of Pentacles, you, you're dealing with a person who's busy at work, who's busy with something and it's not related to you. And you're feeling sad, you're feeling blue, you're feeling out of touch with your person, okay? Because they're so busy. Their mind is not focused with you. Their mind is not focused with love or romantic, okay? For the first week of Feb 2020, I feel like this person is around, you know, a Eight of Pentacles. They're around you, they're making an effort, but it's not the full potential. Their focus is work, their, fo their focus is somewhere else. It's not directed towards you. And that's why you don't feel great, the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's because it's more of a threat and a worry. You know, whatever they're behaving, distance not responding a lot uh their focus on work versus your romantic relationship or getting to know because i feel like the fe because i feel like for some of you cancer you're quite excited you know as soon as the the february month um start to kick in you're kind of excited that you feel like intuitively that something like you waited for this month you waited for february to come along but I feel like your person is disappointing you first week of Feb. Queen of Wands, it's producing worry, it's concern, because they're not paying attention with you, okay? In a general collective reading or message or energy, your person is not focused at you this time. They are around you, you know? They're still connected to you, but their focus is somewhere else, all right? And it, it's producing some concerns and worries, queen of wands you don't feel like it's not long term you, you don't feel connected to the to your you feel like your person is very distant okay now in the second week of feb 2020 you've got the high priestess the three of wands so there's definitely a very mysterious energy around you a bit secretive aloof distance you feel like this person they don't have a plan for feb month especially for valentine's day because this is the high priestess high priestess speaks about this is the blueprint of our soul but i feel like your person is hiding whatever it is that um 
because three of wands you know your your person has your person it's your person is not very forward with regards to their plan like your person is very secretive about your valentine's date plan something about planning that your person is very secretive about moving forward or whether they will take you out for a date whether because this also is you know about travel or reaching a milestone so for some of you you feel like it's february 2020 you're feeling like it, it's about time to go exclusive to upgrade and you don't feel that your person they have a plan plan <laughs> they have a plan to go exclusive to take you out on a date there's no plan in short it's very quiet all right the subject matter about exclusivity or going out on a date or being connected with your person it's very quiet they're being silent they're secret the high priestess also in a general reading this call this uh, this speaks about mystery or this represents a mistress so yeah i feel so detached all right over the next you know for the first two weeks of feb 2020 there's a sense of feeling that you know you're a bit worried they're still around you but they feel very detached distance not focused with you you're not feeling like this is gonna progress something about you're ready but they're not and the thing is they're very quiet they're very silent it's so hard to read all right now the third week of february 2020 you've got the page of cups and the queen of pentacles for some of you i feel like before feb you have you had an argument you have some sort of a silent war a silent miscommunication there's definitely an issue for some of you and um for some of you your person is behaving this way because you've got an issue because you have got an issue in the past there's already a glitch some silent war between the two of you when you reach february 2020 okay so around january time there's already some sort of a misunderstanding a misalignment or some things that you don't understand but you don't talk to your person or don't they don't talk to you or for some of you you have kind of opened up the subject matter about ex exclusivity about upgrade about you know having a date or a travel for the month of feb 2020 and you've never um received a confirmation like this is walking walking in like blind spot that's what i'm getting for the first two weeks of feb 2020 blindsided blind spot something to do with you feel like you're still connected but they're very detached they're not very talkative and open about their plan their focus is somewhere else and you're so worried you are concerned okay so by the third week of feb 2020 you feel like you know they haven't opened up they haven't really expressed that you know the the feelings or the communication that you've been waiting for them to 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 confirm because page of cups you're not getting an apology you're not getting that flirty cute messages because by the second week and the third week of feb that is already um you know the february month or the valentine's week which is it's getting you more and more a bit worry frustrated um you've got a patient with this person because i feel like you know it's it's almost valentine's day but i feel like your person they haven't really reached out confirm because i feel like this queen of pentacles this is you and this could also be them okay um the storyline i'm getting for the second week and the third week of feb is that you're both waiting you're both waiting for someone to make a move because if you look at the queen of pentacles um the queen of pentacles is ready is sitting there in her throne is looking at her pentacles you know this pentacles in here it looks like a clock it looks like a date so it could be you it could be your person but i felt like there's duality in mutuality because in the first two weeks of feb nothing is happening 
it's blank it's silent it's not moving so by the end of um second week of feb going to the third week of february 2020 90 percent of you you're waiting for your person to reach out um to make a move um to message you and vice versa okay so this this two cards for the third week of feb 2020 there's a mutual energy that both of you are not making a move both of you are waiting for one another to make a move all right because by the fourth week you know so for some of you it's it's more of it's more of an up 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 front reminder that um i don't think your person will surrender okay um because when i look at the six of swords i feel like um the way you will celebrate valentine's it's a bit late compared to your friends compared to the world you know because there's a hype of valentine's day celebration um february 2020 so i think that is some sort of a struggle for you and your person to get into that vibe i don't know because of ego because you guys have some sort of misunderstanding misalignment of your expectation but i feel like the tower card from the third to fourth week of feb 2020 none of you is moving you know you're both waiting sitting there looking at the clock looking at your um, phone waiting for some sort of a message to follow up hey do you want to go out for a date do you want to catch up it's valentine's day it's a hearts day event you know do you want to be with me so no one is moving you're both ready but none of you are moving you're waiting for an invite and they're waiting also for an invite it's like the theme of the third week and the fourth week of feb 2020 is that you both want each other but none of you is moving none is making a move because six of swords you know i'm not letting go i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna wait it's it's it, it could be your energy it could be their energy but it's more of i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna be stuck here in the house waiting for you so it's kind of sad because it's quite ego it's quite you know it's like no one wants to let their guard down okay let's get three more cards <clears throat> what is the advice please <clears throat> mm. wow this is a good advice king of cups okay and this card wanted to came out all right so let's be honest let's be true to ourselves. we don't want to have a zero experience in valentine's day it's good to be love to feel love to give love all right so i've asked for an advice because i feel like it's not a disaster but it's so blunt no sorry it's so blank like it's so plain you know what i'm getting from you cancer is that you have a person you have a love with your person and your person have a love affections feelings for you and vice versa because i'm getting a mutual energy in here but none of you is making the move so i don't know what happened in january month and i don't know what's what's the background what is the issue but i feel like it's two hearts trap in you know an individual body that wanted to be together you know it's like your your, your heart your feelings want to merge but your your physical your the ego inside one of you is not wanting to make a move so i ask for advice and one of the advice interesting advice i'm getting in here is that if you want your person to chase you to follow up to call you to text you you need to make some noise you need to get their attention so how to do that post a lot of pictures in social media update your profile in viver and in instagram and um in whatsapp do something in a social media account that will get their attention post something that is significant to them and that you would get their attention because that's how you're gonna break into that old cycle because i feel like this king of cups it's like uh it's advising you to be immature be childish be take the risk 
you know, King of Pentacles, it's untimely, for example, to say this. But if this is how you're going to get their attention, do it. Because I feel like your person is like you. They want to go out. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. But none of you is making the move. And since, it, since this is your reading, you know, be as attractive, as pretty, as handsome you are. Be as interesting as you are. Do something. I'm really getting like, do something in social media account that will make your person interested. You know, nice dress, interesting topic that will get their attention because that will lure them to message you, to come forward. Okay? Take a risk. Be childish. Be, pay be playful. I felt like, you know, it's not time to be so serious or dramatic. Be playful. Be flirt. That's what I'm getting in here. Okay? So if you, if you want to go direct, you know, think out of the box and surprise your person. Because there's a new moon in, a, in, an, in Aquarius. I don't know how long it will last. But I feel like it's going to cover up until February. So the theme of the new moon in Aquarius, which is happening when I'm doing this reading, is about thinking out of the box. So yeah, I feel like there's a great outcome with your reading. It's in your hands, all right, Cancer? So I'm going to leave it with you on how strong you want this person. Because if you do, you're either going to make a move or you're going to get their attention into a different way. Your way, all right? Thank you, Cancer. It's a pleasure doing this reading to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I get a like, a subscribe. And also, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you're notified on the news update or news feed whenever I upload a new video. Have a great February 2020. Love yourself and um, take care. Bye-bye.